What's up, Loxton here, and like I said, we're gonna do a flute video of repairing my Jemai Hart flute, all because of this kid here, right there, that one. I played the flute in bands. You played in no, bands? I, I, <laughs> right. I played the flute in bands. So. In band. And I played the flute in band over 18 years ago. Yes, I am that old. So, yes, it works. This is a Jemai Hart. Uh, I don't know if I'm saying that right. Mm, an Elkhart M2 six figure serial number. And you're not gonna be able to see it. I forgot where it's at. There it is. Over here. Yeah, I guess you can kind of see it. And this thing has been through some damage. It's a little tarnished right now. You can see the dents and the reflection there. Uh, that's that happened before it was even my flute. It was my sister's flute. Cork feels fine. That's good. Cork? Yeah, the cork right in the end here for making sure you're properly in tune. That's what that sticks in the lines for is to push the cork up and down and this is a crown. Right, all right. This part seems to work just fine. Everything seems to be fine on it. But this is the part that's really bad. After some inspection, you can see how high everything is off of the bars. Well, it's this side, definitely this side. Yeah, let's get in there. Oh yeah, we, we can put it together. We'll, we'll I'll attempt to do a B flat scale. Then I it with how broken this thing is. I know how to do a scale. <laughs> That's how bad this flute is. I can't even get it to be flat out. I'm I'm very lightly pressing. And I'm blowing to where it should be the low note. Calm your <laughs> jets, kid. <laughs> Yeah, as you can see here, go ahead and give it a shot. As you see, that thing does not work. Worth the dirt. It's not gonna work. How about we take it apart and put it back down? I missed a note. You took my spot. Yeah. So as you see. That part that's not the problem. We don't have to worry about the that. Keys. This one, let's find out if this is the problem. You ever done this with your flute? Made a mini flute? It'd probably be better if you had the three hole back. That's yeah, not a piccolo. That's like a one noter. Two noter. So this is the place I got my kit from. I'll put the link to the eBay listing in the description. And if I can find a website, I'll go ahead and give them a shout out. Because for the price, 19 free shipping, and it was here in like a day and a half. Like legit. Although, it's only on the other side of the state of me, but it's fast. Now, I don't know if you can actually see what's going on here, but there's quite an arc right here in my bar. See how everything's so far up? A lot of sanding lines. It looks like it's been polished so hard. The pads don't look bad, but I'm gonna replace them. But see, that's all the way down. That's all the way down. Same here. You can definitely see inside. If I put the light in, you'd be able to see. Oh, there we go. Um, people really hated me playing the flute, and it 
disappeared for a little bit and then it came back not playing uh, so I think I might have been sabotaged because I was first chair flautist for quite some time some of these even stick too there you see it sticking oh now it's not gonna stick but they do some don't go down without the other going down oh there's one that's sticking and I think these in the end as well stick oh that's what's going on see I press one and they both go up I press the other and it both goes up so let's see what these uh people gave us for parts today I need my little like my knife ah uh, I can't get it tight there it goes Oh, that's nice. A, a big note that says, if your pads don't fit, we do our best to be sure our kits will work with your flute. But sometimes manufacturers are inconsistent with sizes. Please email us at instrumentclinic at gmail.com and we will solve the problem for you. Oh, that's nice of them. What? Is that a light? Did they give us a light? I think they gave us a light. Okay, bro, check this out. A light? Yeah. What do you think all this stuff is? What do you think this is? That's wax. You think that's wax? What do you think it's glue? Glue. Glue. All right, what about this? What do you think this is here? At first I thought that was a reed, but nope. It's not a reed at all. Is that the cork material to replace my finger pieces? It might be, because there's a few of them. What do you think this is? Oil. Okay, good job. For our, um, Ooh, piece. a nice cork. I'll, I gotta teach you how to prep a cork. Okay. I'm really, oh, what, what do you think these are? Wow, those are long. Look how long those are. I was not expecting that. And then we got all our pads. Bunch of ones with the holes. Let's take a look. Oh, they look like they should fit just fine. Wait, that one looks a little small. Why does that one look a little small? Small, small, small. Wait, some of them all look small. Well, we'll see when we get there. Fits to my heart. All right, so let's check these instructions out. Whoa, was not expecting that. I'm glad I opened it this way. These must be my feelers to see how much shows. You gotta probably press it down and it probably works like uh, carbon foil and it takes a little imprint off maybe. We'll see. Let's all take a break real quick and if anybody's watching this, have you ever done this yourself? What's the most common trouble that you've had? And do you think it's gonna be easy for me? All right. Step one, remove the flute keys. Tools needed to remove flute keys. Screwdriver, flat nose, pliers, spring, hook tool, nylon pads, pad pliers, gourmet tool, grommet tool, fire safety equipment. Well, I think the first thing I'm gonna do is work on getting the flute completely apart. I already know how to do that, I've done that a few times. But first, I want to look at this stuff. Is that a magnet? Oh, no, it's an on button. Wow. That is pretty sweet. Well, 
let's check this out. Oh, that fell out. Let's check this out and see how bad we can see through my keys. Put it on. Eh, put it on. Let's see here. Oh wow, what am I doing wrong here? Is that really that open? Wow, look at that. I'm holding that on all the way and I can see light through there. I can see light through there. Oh wow, look at that shine. Wow, I wish we had your flu care bear so we could check this out on yours. All right, so I inspected that box, seems okay. I'm really hoping all these screws come off very easily. So, time to get to work. Eh, she fits, let's make sure she don't break apart. You know, cause it's a flute, so it's a girl apparently. Not being sexist, it's just how I ended up saying it. I need one of these plastic baggies to keep all my little screws in. Because I do not want to lose these things. You see what I did there is I really made sure to hold screw as I'm screwing out that way it didn't fall everywhere and that's about ready to come out once we get the other side off it should come out pretty easily I feel like I'm gonna polish this flute come on fingers aha I wish you could have saw my face I said aha uh oh oh they stay in all right then I didn't know that well, I did, but I forgot. I do now, and that's half the battle is knowledge, right? Uh, yeah, that should be in enough. A few more times. So I'm gonna put the other side back in as soon as I get this off. You see that? The spring, this dirty old spring just fell right off. I'm gonna put that right over here too. I'm gonna pop this spring off. Just like that. Ooh. Yeah, I forgot about that. Oh, I forgot. It's been like five years since I took a flute apart. So I got that that's in the way. So I guess I'm gonna put the screw in right now. The springs still have good, very, very good tension on them. I'm surprised. If the other springs are thinner than these ones, I probably will not replace them. Ew, look how dirty these pads look. All right, so those are hanging because of these. My bad. We'll get there. That one's long. That's the long rod. Oop, that one's out. And that means this can probably come out. Yep, there's one piece.
You know, I actually did buy a buffing wheel for my grinder downstairs, so I might actually be able to get a real nice high finish polish on all these keys, which would actually be wonderful. Which goes from here. Look at these ones. Ew. <laughs> oh my God, look at this freaking thing. No A flat here. Yeah, it's pretty almost there. I wonder if I'll be able to get a rod in there and fix some of these dents. Wow, it feels so much lighter without all that. Look at how dirty this thing looks. Like, are those burn marks? Or stain marks? What are those? One giant rod again. Ah. Oh. I think it stopped. Oh my god. Oh. Wow. <clears throat> All right, I am back with my pair of pliers. And my pair of pliers. My camera's all up and down. I don't know which way to look. Are you there? Are you there? Are you there? Are you there? Oh, you're over here. Hi. So I'm gonna go ahead and start pulling these little things out. I'm gonna try to get my facial reactions because you ever poke yourself with one? It sucks. This looks scary. There's a whole bunch of them in here. That one's backwards. I'm gonna pull this one out first. You guys okay? You guys didn't get beat up there? I hope you guys are alright. I know I smacked you in the face with a pair of pliers. Nobody got stabbed in the eye? Good. They probably got hurt. It's like one of those spookies, you know? It's, oh, I wasn't expecting that. Alright, switching pliers. See, and that's why I grabbed two pair of pliers, because one pair might not do the job. Ah, uh, that is one bent spring. I think it's gonna break before I get it out of there. See, I'm hanging on to the other ones just so I know, ow! That one's gone. Okay. So I'm gonna hang on to most of them to make sure I know the length. Ooh, this one's a little tiny. <sighs> Woo wee. Oh wow, it's pushing the wrong way, no wonder why. Oh my God, look at my grease stains for my thumb. Oh wow. Oh no. Obviously these are glued down. I bet you this glue is probably completely dried out. As you see, I was able to take that right off, no problem. Yeah, because I plan to, I'm gonna polish them all up before I even try to put it together. Ooh, that's stiff. Oh, this is the bent piece. Can you see that? Probably can't see that. Here's something straight. Now you can see it. See how it falls off right here? Now, 
if I wanted to completely take this apart, there's pins here and pins here. And then I'd be able to re-lube everything up. But this thing has been tremendous for me. I'm worried about a little grime in here. But I think with a couple drops of oil off, it's all cleaned up and work it through, it will be just fine. So I'm not tearing this all the way down. I'm only gonna pull these off. Sometimes you gotta persuade it, persuade it. Look how dry these are. Easier just to go ahead and grab these and twist, twist. Ooh, those came out nice. Now that I have all my holes open and there ain't no springs to stab me in the fingers because that hurts. But Jesus, I'm going to attempt to polish it up. Okay, so first thing with this Never Doll. You want to be cautious with is there are other fibers in it if you're not trying to scratch a piece all up don't use it but as you see it's pretty tarnished you can see that there's already been all kinds of scratches in it i'm not too concerned about it but let's see what happens Definitely some spots I'm gonna have to work a lot harder on than others. I just gotta make sure I polish it after I clean it, because if I don't, it's just gonna tarnish up even faster and worse with this stuff, because I've seen it happen. Here's my first step in cleaning. I wish I had my flute wand so I could actually clean the inside, but that could be done later. I've not seen this thing shine like this since I was 13 years old. 13. Yeah, imagine that.
getting hot in here with all that work. Washed my hands like four times and I got tarnish everywhere. But she is shiny. I still have to actually put the buff onto it so it doesn't tarnish any faster now that I took all the original tarnish off. And like you've just seen, yeah, it's all tore apart. I hope it's still gonna work. Yeah, I know it's still gonna work. You're over here, not over there. You're over here. Nope, here. Yes. Mm. All right, I'm having a hard time getting these things off. So I'm gonna find some penetrating lube and see if that works. All right, now I'm up over here. I get a look over there, not down here, over here, up there, up there. So now I'm used to looking down here. I'm gonna look over here now. We got this piece here and you can see it actually moves now. You know what I use is some Windex. It broke down really good and and then this one as well. Up over here. There's some grab in it. And I just I think it's just a little crooked. Yeah, right about there. I mean, it moves back and forth, but I got the oil that might make the trick work. We'll see. <laughs> Whew, I'm a little exhausted working on that flute. So far, our videos are like 30 minutes. Um, I usually don't have much success after like four. So I'm going to give it a cut right now. Make sure you tune in for part two. Uh, reassembly and pads and play it. So I think that's a good way to check out. Make sure you like, subscribe, share, whatever you want to do. Come back and see me play the flute later. Loxton out.